One Arizona city has found a new way to keep cool during the summer, a type of pavement that reflects heat instead of absorbing it. Colleen Sakura has more on a pilot program that's leading to some interesting results. If you could spray away some of the heat, this is one way to do it. These streets now reflect sunlight away. David Hondula is the heat response director for the city of Phoenix. When we look at satellite imagery of the city, we see that the road surfaces really pop as some of the hottest surfaces in the city. Partnering with ASC researchers, they've already found the surface temperature of this pavement is cooler, at least 10 degrees cooler, where the reflective coating's been put down. And the surface temperature is lower on the bottom of the pavement, too. The pavement material itself experiences less strain as the summer goes along. That can help it last longer, which could mean money saving for all of us. It's all of us feeling the hotter temps in the city than in outlying areas. That's the urban heat island effect. It's constantly evolving. Matej Georgescu is with ASU School of Geographical Sciences and Urban Planning. With lows in Phoenix not getting as low as before, it takes a toll. It becomes, from an energy infrastructure, a very difficult issue because air conditioners are on constantly. And so there's a lot of societal impacts. And with this year's dry climate, that means that the land surface is going to heat up quite a bit faster than it normally does and potentially lead to a quicker onset of the North American monsoon system. That's actually good news. But it's cool news for Phoenix neighborhoods only anticipated to get hotter, now getting the coating in the coming weeks. And we think that this, this particular innovative strategy can help offset some of the heat island effects associated with all that pavement. Hoping this summer helps answer more questions. What we need to learn is how well it works and how long it lasts. How durable is it in, in the real world?